I'm Jake Bruton and today on The Build Show, we're going to talk about a water heater. Seems like it might be a simple conversation, but it's actually a much larger conversation uh, and I think we think about them the wrong way. So let's do it now. Okay, so we are at our Hilltop Aero project and we're going to talk philosophy behind water heaters and then I want to talk to you about this Rheem Prestige Series uh, heat pump water heater behind me. So we've had the water heater conversation a couple times before, but just to reiterate the way that we kind of feel about it, uh, society in the United States, we got it wrong. We don't understand the idea behind a water heater in a way that I think makes sense. What I mean by that is we tend to go, hey, our water heater quit, just can you get us a water heater and put it in tomorrow so that we can have wa hot water back? Or how much does it cost? All it does is heat the water. Yeah, we'll just take the, the cheap one that you guys normally install, that sort of thing. And that conversation even applies most of the time to new construction. So this is the Hilltop Aero project. We're looking at the water heater we have here. We don't take that approach. Everything in the house is a choice. It has a dollar sign attached to it, it has efficiency attached to it, and it potentially has comfort attached to it. So, we don't have uh, combustion in the house at all. There is uh, an electric cooktop, there is an electric dryer, and our hot water is electric, and then our HVAC is all electric, and our HVAC system runs off of heat pumps. So, it's the standard you know, it's more efficient. It's the same thing as what your refrigerator does. It compresses the gas, it releases the gas, it causes a temperature change, it steals that temperature change. This is doing the same exact thing. So we have two choices really when we're talking about uh, electric uh, hot water or electric water heating, I should say. Uh, we can do electric resistance, which is your toaster coil in the middle of a tank. It heats up the water and it pushes the water throughout the house for your use. That is a very inefficient method of heating water. Uh, the next most efficient after that electric resistance would be fossil fuel based. It would be something that we're burning, uh, you know, CNG or propane or something like that to heat the water inside the tank. Same basic setup. We just have a, a water heating tank that then has insulation and a method for heating the water. Next is uh, an air source heat pump. So this guy uh, from Rheem, this is their Prestige series uh, and uh, Proterra, I guess, is the, the name on it. Uh, this is an air source heat pump. So this does the exact same thing as your refrigerator in reverse. I know that I'm oversimplifying it, uh, but this water heater doesn't take a flu like a gas water heater would. It uses elec less electricity than a resistance heat heater, uh, meaning it's more efficient. And uh, believe it or not, this guy is even quieter than uh, the gas uh, water heaters that we've installed in the past. So we have a little bit of audio comfort as well. Um, the other thing that's pretty interesting about this, besides the fact that it's smart, uh, well, actually let's talk about the fact that it's smart. It's programmable, which you're not gonna find an electric resistance heater that's programmable. They just are what they are. They're on or off and you get to set the temperature. This guy has a ton of settings. You can set it to connect to the Wi-Fi. You can control it from your phone. It has vacation modes, it has schedules, it has temperature adjustment, all those things. It gives scald warnings if the water's getting too hot. It really is a smart device. Um, for me personally, that is a really great thing for us to then give to our clients because I can say, hey, you're, you just spent hundreds of thousands of dollars to build an incredibly efficient house. You go on vacation, you should have turned this guy off the same way you turn the thermostat down. You can connect to your phone, go ahead and say, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, we're in vacation mode. We can save more money that way, which is actually kind of interesting. They have an energy guide just like any other appliance nowadays, $149 a year. So what is that, 12, 30 a, a month for hot water? That's pretty darn efficient. That's about as low as it gets uh, with equipment manufactured in the United States. So the heat pump, you can see we have like, you know, this upper section for a water heater is completely different. You know, a normal 40 or 50 gallon water heater stopping, you know, at shoulder height or below. This guy has this big heat pump on the top of it. This vent puts out cold air. Now we are, slightly heating dominated climate, uh, which means this 
part of the year is good for us, part of the year it's a, a slight detriment at putting out that cold air. But what we've done is we've put it in the basement where no one is going to be living. Literally, this space is just mechanical and storage. So if it's affecting air temperature, it's affecting down here. We don't have much air being shared from here to the rest of the house, so we don't really have to worry about it. And it is a relatively small impact. Uh, in the summer though, it does help to serve to cool this space. So I'm gonna guess that this thing is a, you know, a zero impact or a, almost nothing on our, our environment here. Uh, but it is something that you have to note when you consider heat pump technology for indoor air source, you have to have something on the range of 700 cubic feet of air for this thing to steal the heat out of that air. And uh, it needs to be able to communicate with the rest of the space because eventually it'll just make it so cold that it stops losing its efficiency. Now you probably have to have it sealed off pretty well for it to get to that point, but we're efficient, we're quiet, and we're not burning fuel. So we have a very airtight house here that we don't want those combustion gases in. And this is more efficient than a combustion gas uh, water heater. So I think that heat pumps are gonna continue to develop. I think that Ream's done a pretty good job and they're kind of leading the pack with this technology. Uh, and I love the fact that we have a smart device. There's a lot of things that I go, yeah, we don't need a, a smart this or a smart that. This is one that I actually think it does make sense because the device is so easy to use. So check them out, check out the heat pump technology for a water heater. Think about what you're putting into the house. Think about uh, whether or not you should be uh, eliminating combustion from the house because this thing doesn't affect indoor air quality in any way. Combustion can. Thanks for watching this week on The Build Show. Don't forget to follow me and the podcast on Instagram, the Unbuild It podcast on Instagram that I host with Steve Basic and Peter Yost. There are a ton of new videos, new contributors on the Build Show Network now. Make sure you subscribe to the newsletter. That thing comes out twice a week now. There is plenty of content that you can go, oh yeah, I don't want to miss that video. I should watch it. So thanks for watching. Till next time on the Build Show. Check you later.